Oh, God. Who told me to do this? Tina, you can't have nice stuff in AZ. Oh. Okay, I guess we're gonna try and lift it up and if it falls, it falls. What's going on YouTube? New year, new me, and all that jazz. So we gotta get back on the projects. We need to take the legacy over to Josh at Vaderbilt. The only thing stopping us from doing that is we know the transmission on that car is totally going to blow up. So our solution to that, we're going to take the built 5EAT out of Chewy and we're going to swap it into that car. This is going to be a couple of videos long. Our goal for today is to get the differential and the transmission out of this car. I figured that the easiest way of doing this would be to start at the back of the car and work forward. I'm gonna have to take this exhaust off, which is a good thing because this exhaust has always been kind of weird. We'll get the exhaust off, take the differential out, remove the drive line. By the time I've got these out, Tanner should be home to help me with the 5EAT. That way I don't drop it on myself and cause myself some bodily harm. Uh, and then we can get this thing all wrapped up. So hopefully not too bad. I'll probably run into way more than I'm thinking, but this should go pretty smooth. This fluid for this car still looks super good. That's because I maintain this car really well. That's kind of why I have no problem using these parts with this car becoming a six speed. Uh, I know that these parts were taken care of, so everything should work out fine. We're going to fill all this stuff back up with Motul when we put it in the Legacy. So I'm just draining it right now, even though the fluid's all good, because it probably wasn't a bad idea to change the fluid in here and will make us feel a little better about sending all that power to it. Since this car is going from an auto to a manual swap, I won't need the rear axles. When I go up front, I'm gonna leave the front axles because the front axles are actually going to be compatible with the wheel bearings I have in this car now and the six speed transmission that's going in in the future. differential is out of the car hanging out right there so we got the diff that'll go into mittens I've got the driveline halfway disconnected just got to take the other part off which like I said we are saving for this car and then I got to take off the transmission which is going to be way more fun than that was because it sucks like a hundred times more to do and it's a lot heavier so from here I think we're doing pretty good. We're giving it a second win now. I got Tanner out in the garage. He's taking the wrap off the WRX and I'm going to get the transmission ready to pull tomorrow morning. We got pretty much everything underneath the car done with the exception of getting the axles out these things are heavy bitches like even compared to the six speed manuals they're they're beefy boys while i was under there i tried to lift the tail shaft just to kind of gauge how heavy it was and i could barely lift the tail shaft of this thing so i feel like this is going to go really bad and then i think what's going to go worse is when we get the one out of the legacy and we go to put this one in it because then I have to actually worry about aligning things to the transmission. 
Probably getting it out of that one's gonna suck too. Uh, if you're ever taking one of these out, there's really not a lot you have to take off to get them out. I mean, obviously it's a lot harder if you have an engine right here, but over here you just have the cooler lines. So transmission cooler lines, they're the ones right there I have blocked off with a little hose clamp. So if they come off right underneath here, and there are those two lines there. Once you get that, the only connection to the shifter that there is is right on the corner here, right there. And it's just, I took off the two bolts that go onto that because I'm gonna leave that together and I'll just use the one from the other car. Aside from that, you just take axles out, you take all these guys off. Uh, drive line, of course. You got a couple of connections back here. And then you can, in whatever way, you feel like would be the most beneficial to you, pull this thing out of there. Either drop it, pull it, push the car off a cliff and let it fall out, I don't know. Aside from taking the axles out, I might do like a couple of a couple of bench presses or a couple of bicep curls, get a little stronger before I try and crush myself with this thing. But yeah, I think that's good for tonight. So when I see you guys, it'll be tomorrow morning and I'll be hopefully pulling this out and not having it crush me. All right, so it is the next day. We're gonna continue taking things off to be able to get this transmission out of the Outback. I'm gonna take the axles out and then we're trying to figure out we do have a transmission jack, but it's kind of kind of questionable. So it's this guy right here. And we're trying to figure out if we want to pull it out with uh, engine hoist, which is completely possible. We've done that before. Or if we want to drop it. The biggest issues with dropping the transmission out is I don't think the car is high enough. Because a 5 EAT, like I said before, is a very large transmission, and I don't think it's going to come out that way. Got a little carried away. I wanted to take care of a couple of things now so I wouldn't have to later. I got all the transmission cooler lines removed, got the transmission filter assembly removed. So that normally sits behind this headlight here. Uh, so that is all out of the car. So we don't have anything in the engine bay area that looks like this car is an automatic anymore. So once we take this out, we're swapping this to the six speed STI transmission that is sitting way back on that rack there. So I can just get rid of all this other automatic transmission stuff and that'll make the job once we step up to working on this car again a little bit easier i think we are leaning on pulling this out i think it'll be easier with how heavy this thing is i think it shouldn't be a problem when it comes time to swap this assembly into the legacy because i think tanner is going to be done with the quick jack soon so we'll be able to use that and get a little bit more clearance off the ground i also took out ac while i was at it because this car is not going to run ac with the next setup so i just have the plate here i'm gonna have to put the block off plate on that uh, that way we don't have any of that stuff coming out or going around places and stuff getting in there which would be bad as well I'm not sure if we're going to do anything crazy to the engine bay like shave it or tub it or anything like that but that's always an option we could do something to try and clean it up like that but let's get this little fucker out of here Is the fun stuff. Guys, I recommend to use a uh, proper transmission jack for this shit. But we don't have that. So, alright, you ready for me to keep lowering it? Just go for it, we're free. Alright, it is uh, pretty much just on creeper at this point. It looks like it should fit. Maybe not. Dude, it's like not pushing. I, mean, I, don't know, I don't know if the bell has to be clear the train train. No. No, it's not. Everything else will. If it was off of the... Creeper? Yeah, it would. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Dude, it's way too tall for right there. As soon as it came off the cross member, it took like everything to fucking keep it held up. Really? <laughs> That's why I was like, just drop it, it's off. It wasn't actually fully off, but I was like, just send it. fuck trying to hold it there. You're like, just fucking send it. Yeah. This is why I was like, we need a low profile. 
<laughs> well, this ain't gonna work. Mission accomplished. The transmission's out of the car. But it's under the car. So now I gotta lift the whole car up to be able to get it out, because this thing is a huge bitch. It is real big. It's giant. It's massive. So, I'm gonna jack the car up. And then try and slide it out the back or something. There's a person slow rolling by us right now. I'm gonna keep the uh, thing playing in case we get shot. Okay, time to lift it and get this thing out for real. I hope you know I'm gonna end the video right here. Like, yeah. I can't I can't do anything else. So, if you guys didn't know, these are heavy. These are super heavy. Like, I don't know how heavy, but they are break my creeper heavy. My creeper is literally flexed and broken. I am so weak, I cannot even lift the tail shaft up to get it the fuck off the creeper. So it's stuck right here. Bro, with both of us, we can't do it. Yeah, like me and Tanner cannot lift this. We don't admit defeat very often, but this is making me question a lot of shit right now. Um, Cause we were wondering how the hell I'm going to swap all this into the legacy, which has an engine in it. <laughs> Cause uh, I can't even get it out of this Bro, car. Even with no engine in it, how the fuck would we do it? Yeah, even just trying to get it up there. I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> like. I'm I'm contemplating a lot of things right now, and I, I might just swap solenoids in that 5 EAT so it shifts properly, and take it to Josh's and tell him not to beat the shit out of it, <laughs> and just get it tuned okay, because, I don't know, I, I think I would need a two post and like an actual heavy duty transmission jack, uh, one, to be able to get the car in the air enough to lift this thing up, to be able to clear it, and too, to be able to lift that thing up there and have it articulate to be able to line up with the engine so currently we're kind of out of we don't we don't have the proper tools for this <laughs> this is one of the few times where we don't have the proper tools for this it's kind of the stopping point for today's video guys i'm sorry <laughs> i uh i really hoped i'd have better news for you but yeah we're kind of screwed right now this car's just gonna stay in the air until I can figure out how to get the transmission out from underneath it. Or even just get the transmission off the creeper, which is kind of the current dilemma. So, yeah. Oh, I broke my freaking, it tore it. Oh, wow. Margaret. Margaret. Margaret, it tore it. Okay, well, I pushed it off there and now I got it done on the ground. Like, but you can see, you can see there's still a bit of a problem. Now you gotta figure out what to do next. And for some reason, I can't lift my car any higher because it's freaking out. Like, I'm like, this is the end of the video. You're like, no. No, we're not done yet. We need to get this out. I don't even care if I don't use this. Get away from my car so I can lower it on the ground, you stupid heathen. The 5 is a devil! What? You're a monster! I thought you liked that. You're a monster! Guys, this is me telling you to get a manual. This is fun. This is Don't do this to yourself. <laughs> Don't be like me. It is not my choice. It was a clean car, okay, owned by an old lady, and I wanted it at the time. It was kind of my choice. The rest of the car is okay. Well, it's off the creeper. I broke the creeper in the process. How, dude, how heavy do you actually think this thing is? Realistically? Yeah. 700 pounds. It feels like 14 billion pounds. In the comments, we'll have to Google it. Yeah, okay. if you guys want to Google it right now, even though I'm going to put this up and I'll probably Google it before you because you won't even know to Google it yet. It's probably like 400 pounds and we're just really weak. You need a sucking wrench. You just want to... Oh, my shit's thrown everywhere. A wrench would be totally fine as well. A wrench? A ratcheting wrench? Yeah, yeah. I thought you had my 14 ratcheting wrench down there by your feet. Well, I've got mine right here. Why is your voice... A, this one's a craftsman. Why is, why is your voice so high? This one's a craftsman. Look, my down pop fits. 
Oh. Why do you sound like the guy? Grab my strong hand. It's my strong hand. It's my strong hand. Grab can you my grab strong. Your, can you grab me a 14? Grab then? my strong hand. Jim Bob. Ten in lifting this out. I don't know where any of my tools went. I don't have a 14. I have a 14. There you go. Is this not low enough yet? Are you not low enough yet? Oh, God. No, because it's got to clean all that stuff. Oh, what are we going to do, Margaret? I'm surprised that oil pan hasn't crushed flat and destroyed the whole transmission yet. Oh, God. Who told me to do this? Man, I was telling you, you can't have nice stuff in AZ. Tanner, you can't have nice stuff in AZ. Oh. Okay, I guess we're going to try and lift it up, and if it falls, it falls. It's just how things happen, I guess. Well, ask me how the fuck we did it, but we got this out from underneath the car. Six feet from bell me housing. Me for reference. Tanner's measuring my six speed. From bell housing to tail shaft, it's 35 inches. 35? Yeah. Okay, now what about this? About 30, it's honestly only about two inches longer. Oh. Okay. About three inches, it's about 38 inches, so about three inches longer. So this is what we're talking about, is the entire bottom part of this. And it weighs 10,000 pounds more. Yeah, the entire bottom part is fucking giant! That thing is like what I would consider a Russian tank of a transmission. Well, the shit thing is, is that fucking six-speed will take more power than that thing. Even well, with obviously. Build, even with it built. Yeah. I honestly don't even want to fuck with this anymore. The over five EATs? Yeah. I'm about to... Like, anybody want to build 5EAT? Not for free, of course. Not for free, but <laughs> all I'd recommend doing to it is uh, changing out solenoids on the valve body, and it should be good to rip. Full build by level 10. It's got a ice stall torque converter, built internals, reworked pump, ported internals for the pump passageways. He did the whole shebang, he told me. That it would hold 800. I don't, I, it's never seen 800, but. Oh, it's because this isn't tight. That's what I was told. If anyone wants it, make an offer. So what did we learn today? That I just want manuals. And you're not fun. All right. Chewy's back on the ground. We got the transmission out of it. I'm never doing that again. And everything looks really good. So we're gonna push Chewy out and then I don't know if we're gonna continue with doing this to mittens or not. Probably not. I don't know. Four. Yeah, I might have to hit up a superhero or something to help us out with this. But that is all I've got for you guys in this one. If you like the video, hit the like button, let me know, subscribe if you want to, and make me happy, leave me a comment, and I will probably reply to it immediately because that's what I do. Well. See you guys in the next one. Have a good one.